Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is the Pi Glow from Pimeroni. It's basically a, a board with a PWM control chip and 18 LEDs arranged in six color groups, three arms, six colors, and in a spiral shape. And you can do some interesting patterns with it and use it for various different things. It plugs straight onto the main Raspberry Pi GPIO header and it fits inside the Pi Bow case. So today I'm going to show you how I've done some GPIO control of the Pi Glow. I've seen quite a lot of Pi Glow videos but I haven't seen anyone yet do it with GPIO control. So in order to do that I needed to mount it on a breakout board of my own design that uh, allowed the, the access to some of the other GPIO ports at the same time because the Pi Glow itself uh, pushes onto the P1 header and takes up all the ports so you need some way of being able to to break that out so I've, I've got a board here which uh, is still in prototype but it's uh, it basically gives you more than one breakout option so the actual Pi Glow board itself is this lovely purpley board here with the spiral of LEDs. It's got three arms, each contains six LEDs and they're grouped in colors as you'll see later on more clearly in some of the demos I'm going to show you. Down here I've got a button board of my own design. It's got basically four buttons, a buzzer and an LED and all of those are connected to GPIO. Obviously it's got pull up, pull down resistors as well you can use them for either. But that's also something I'm, I've got in development at the moment. So I've written a program which will uh, demonstrate various different capabilities of the Pi Glow. Basically if you press button 1 it will light the LEDs individually in turn um, going from 0 to 255 brightness. Uh, the second button does all the LEDs at once. The third button uh, does individual arms. The fourth button does the color groups. So the three middle ones are the white ones for example. So it will do the white ones then it will go out one step and do the next ones which I can't remember off the top of my head what they are. But it basically will, will cycle between all the color groups. So and then when we press Control c to exit the program there'll be another little uh, thing to see as well. So press button 1, oh yes, and at the end of each cycle it gives a beep so you know and also while it's in, use, while it's in operation the LED on the button board goes out. As you can see it's incredibly bright. Okay that's button 3 now, now it's doing each arm and button for each color group. And now when I kill the program with control C it gives you the propeller effect forwards and then backwards. This was Alex Eames for Raspi TV. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then you'll get notifications when we update with new videos. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or visit us at the Raspi TV blog.